this time we're going to tie uh, a version of a sunray shadow. Uh, this is a hard plastic tube. Uh, I've used the HMH tube holder here to hold it and this is the finer bore needle up the middle of it just to give it a little bit more security whenever you're bending it. So I'm going to take my thread. I have a, this is a dental uh, amalgam well I think which is quite heavy. And I've got super glue on the top of that. So I'm going to slide my thread through the super glue and wind back with that to the point where I'm starting my body. The body I'm going to use uh, a silver braid. This is not a holographic one, it's just a straightforward silver. Attach that on my side of the hook, of the, sorry, of the, of the tube, and wind. Now, just whenever I wind the braid on to give it a little bit more durability, I'm going to put a little bit of super glue along my thread weapons. Wrap that. Touch and turns. To create the body. There's going to be no throat or anything on this one. Wrap that up, take that forward, and put a couple of turns over it just to secure it down, and then trim that off nice and neat for added security. I'll take my dubbing needle, a little bit of super glue, and just touch it to that tie in point. Now, uh, sun rays are long winged flies and they intend to catch up in the hooks so I'm going to put a bit of uh, white bucktail on here just to, as the first portion of the wing and that will add a little bit of support so a bit of the accents now if you can imagine this tube's going to come to here, there's going to be a bit of junction tubing and then your hook, so your hook's going to be sitting somewhere around about here. So we want the bucktail to come beyond that, just so that the wing itself, whenever it's waving about, doesn't get down and into the hook. So roughly measuring that up, then I'm going to trim off the end nice and flat. Take my dubbing needle, a little bit of super glue, and just get it into the the very base of this. I'm going to apply that up. Before it dries, in, I'm going to tie that up. A little bit of super glue on my thread. You pull really tightly into bucktail, what it'll do is the same as if you're tying a muddler, it'll just expand. So the tight turns are at the front and then at the rear a little bit looser. Now uh, on this one I'm going to put in a little bit of silver crystal here. Put on a strand of that and double it back on itself. Take that down and trim it off. Now the first fire portion I'm going to use is uh, Super Pro Black Fox. So I'm going to take out a bunch of that. 
take out the under fur. Cut that off nice and square. Again, a little dab of glue. Same as before. Double one stand back on itself. Leave it a little bit longer than my wing because there's going to be more portions going on. Now, next up is some Nayat or Snow Runner or whatever you want to call it. It's a stiffer sort of fur. Off a bunch of that, and again pull out the under fur. This is going to be a little bit longer than my previous one. So again, cut it off nice and square. A little bit of glue just to the very tips of it. Bind it down before it sets. See what we're trying to do is create a layered tapered wing here. So at the rear of it again, I'm going to run a little bit of super glue down my thread and put a wrap on the back end of it. Now the top of the wing, I'm going to use goat. Goat. Get goat up to whatever really length you want here, 170 mil maybe. But it doesn't tend to compress very well when you tie it in. So it's very prone to pulling out. So what I'm going to do is measure this fly up now. So at the minute it's standing at 100 mil, so I'm going to take it out to about 120 mil to the tail. I'm going to mark that here as this part of my vise. Measure so that the tips of the goat go out to there. And the same thing again. multi-layered wing, lots of different types of fur. So I'm going to take a mascara brush which I've cut down and I'm going to brush that into itself. And on the top of the wing I'm going to put some peacock fibers. side of the feather. You don't have to make these the full length of the wing. I'm going to take a couple off the opposite side of the feather. Few 
inches. that if you want you can put jungle cock on the sides of it Either you can put super glue on your wraps, or if you want, you can fold these stocks back on themselves. And cut off. Finish the head off. There. That'll now require a few different coats of varnish. But essentially that's a simple sun ray. And what I'll do then is I'll cut off the back of the uh, tube here. Uh, and I will flame that to create a little burr on it. silicone tubing So I'm going to use clear varnish here first, see how that looks. Sometimes it's enough. And sometimes you have to go back afterwards with a black varnish. And then another coat of clear varnish over the top of that again to create a really nice head. Just depends on how good of a seal you get with the super glue the first time. But there you go. You can see the peacock sitting nicely on top of it, and that's a variant of a sunray shadow. <laughs> 